Uh, and I'd like to start on a somewhat humorous note. We had a, uh, a lunch just moments ago where Ranger was operating in the background. Um, and I assure you, this is not the quietest uh, supercomputing facility that we've ever architected. Um, but it was a comforting hum. Um, and certainly, I think, uh, is emblematic of just the outstanding progress um, that the whole team has made. At uh, the beginning, you know, it, it's good, um, Jay, to spend some time together um, when we're not talking about InfiniBand cables and connectors, um, which are little details none of you have to worry about, but we've spent a great deal of time worrying about. And uh, ultimately, I think what showed through throughout all of this is just the enormous passion you've had for making Ranger into, uh, into what it is now, which I think is opening huge opportunities uh, across the economy, across industry, and I also believe ultimately across society. There's um, a wonderful analogy to what has been built here today, and it stems back a little over 100 years ago when an equivalently passionate individual named Thomas Edison came up with a bit of a crackpot idea and found a guy with a lot of money, um, who at the time was probably the equivalent of the National Science Foundation named J.P. Morgan, who um, had the good taste and, and good sense to try to fund uh, Thomas Edison. And so he put a dynamo in his garage and uh, actually was out in the back. And his dynamo went down every night, which I'm confident ours doesn't. And uh, ultimately, it was only people of uh, his status and wealth that could possibly afford electricity. And, um, and subsequent to that, um, ultimately, what was built was the Niagara Falls power plant. And the Niagara Falls power plant ended up at the time powering about a third of the United States economy, a third of the United States uh, power requirements from one single power plant. It changed uh, industry, it changed uh, the economy, uh, the government got involved in rural electrification, and it ultimately and unmistakably changed society. And uh, just as that required a very passionate individual, uh, to my mind, Ranger has similarly required a very passionate individual um, and a whole passionate set of people. And ultimately for us, just as with any great uh, revolutionary change, it comes down to the people involved. And so what I wanted to do was thank um, the folks at TAC, starting um, obviously with, you, with UJ, uh, thank the NSF obviously for providing funding and Congress for, of course, making that all available. Um, the University of Texas, and also for us, the Sun team that has been locally spending long um, nights and weekends working on a flawless execution and um, what has ultimately been a very rapid installation of what is today, uh, you know, I think, uh, again, uh, I believe the statistics are that the Ranger supercomputing facility is bigger than the rest of all other NSF-granted supercomputing facilities combined. So it is at a scale that is truly, um, absolutely staggering. So um, I wanted to again uh, offer my thanks and, um, and also just give you a little bit of history for those that don't know it. Sun Microsystems, the Sun in Sun Microsystems actually stands for Stanford University Network. And so the history of Sun Microsystems is in partnering with academia. And as we have been reinventing the company, we have been sitting down um, you know, across the table from folks who are really driving the kinds of research, driving the extremes that allow us to understand where we need to go next. Um, this is an absolutely important partnership uh, for Sun as we continue to fuel ever greater investments into high performance computing. This is really going to be the cornerstone and bedrock of, uh, of a new business we see emerging. Um, and certainly, uh, you know, we believe that the way you are approaching this, which is in the open, um, to a degree, a public good made available to other institutions so that it is truly science being done in the open, will create more opportunity um, than necessarily walling it off and just husbanding, uh, husbanding it for one uh, uh, individual or one company. So uh, we believe that uh, supercomputing facilities like this, and Ranger specifically, will transform our business. It is going to transform industry, and like uh, the power generation uh, that precedes it, will uh, equivalently uh, transform society as well, as uh, our understanding of basic science, our understanding of medicine, our understanding of energy, our understanding of the environment are all progressed by uh, the types of computational facilities that are being built in by Ranger in specific. So with only one other uh, individual to thank, which is Hector Ruiz, um, the partnership that we've had with AMD um, in working with the University of Texas has been outstanding. I want to thank you uh, for your team and your innovations that ultimately made all this possible. Um, we're looking forward to uh, continuing to working with you, Jay. Um, this seems like, uh, I think you actually pointed out to me, Jay and his team have roughly 500 million CPU hours to provision a year. 
Um, within your first quarter of provisioning, you received requests for 100 of the 125 you have per quarter, which suggests that within one more quarter, you'll be saturated, and you'll, of course, need to build another one. <laughs> and and we'll, we'll be right here for you. So again, thank you. Thank you very much. Well done.